What's up my cherry bombs? Welcome back to another video. On today's video, we're going to be reviewing the newest fragrance by Marc Antoine Boris, which is Ganymede Extract. And if that sounds like something that you're definitely interested, girl, let's get right into this video. Hey, what's up guys? My name is Abby and on this channel we talk about fragrances, anything that has to do with smelling good, feeling good, that's what we talk about. And occasionally we sprinkle a little lifestyle content in there as well. So if that sounds like something that you're definitely interested in, go ahead and grab a seat, hit that subscribe button and join the family because the chair bombs is where it's at. Go ahead and join the family girl. Twisted Lily was so kind enough to send me this new fragrance. I was just like, oh my gosh, I've never smelled the original Ganymede and I wanted to smell this one to see what it's given. And the girls seem to love Ganymede well actually everybody seems to love Ganymede and I've never smelled it but I was like okay well I could get a sense of what it was like or what it is like with the Ganymede straight and y'all y'all know I love anything that is gold so let's go ahead and start with the packaging as you guys can see it comes in this gold box um very simple it's a paper box um nothing really special you guys know that i've seen many 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 niche fragrance houses with exotic boxes and stuff like that but this is very basic so um yeah as far as packaging goes it's okay and then when you take it out it's placed in this beautiful box and the fragrance is there which i actually love the bottle i think it's just stunning um let me go ahead and show you guys the bottle so in the box you get a pamphlet that tells you about um Ganymede, but i usually go in and um you know search the notes or whatever i don't usually look at these papers because the writing is very small and i think it's in french so yeah let me see if i turn it upside down see if it's in a different language nope it's in french and i don't speak or read french i understand it a little bit i could read a little bit but not like that do know the original ganymede came in 100 ml and it came in 50 ml but this one looked like it only came in a 50 ml so here's the packaging you get that beautiful gold brick type of <laughs> packaging of course it's glass um it is not magnetic but it is on there okay it's definitely on there i've never smelled anything from this house this was my first smell everyone's always talking about ganymede and everyone's always talking about b6 23 or 63 or something like that never smelled those two but let's go ahead and get into the notes and let me tell you guys what i feel about it and how it performs after having this for at least a week and a half so at the top you have incense myrrh mandarin orange and the mid you have immortal and then in the base you have a note called akigala wood and um saffrolene i don't know what saffrolene is but i feel like that's like another way of saying saffron and akigala wood kind of look like it's oud um don't hold me on that if you guys know what the specifics are go ahead and comment down below but don't hold me on that girl but that's what i'm thinking um and assuming so you guys, um, let's just go ahead and spray this on paper so I can let y'all know how it smells on paper and then on my skin and what I feel about it. Because those notes are notes that I like. I like incense. I like anything with myrrh, incense. I don't mind um, orange or whatever, but this right here kind of gave me something different, but let's go ahead and spray it on. Um, you guys already know fragrances smell different on paper versus the skin instantly i get a burst of that incense um you get a little bit of the orange and it's very very spicy and i've heard people say that the original is not as spicy and it's a little bit more fruity i don't get that fruity aspect but i definitely get the spiciness and i get that citrus at the opening on the box though it is pulling a little bit more sweeter and I do get that leather notes in it. But let me tell y'all what I get on the skin. Because this fragrance right here is definitely not for the faint of heart. If you do not like a spicy, leathery, almost like... I want to say almost chocolatey fragrance. Then you're not going to like this one. Because this is definitely unique. I will say... Spoiler alert. I like it. If you read my review on Instagram, you would have seen that I was still playing around with this. But honestly, y'all, this is beautiful. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous fragrance. On my skin, I do get that incense in the myrrh. I get a little bit of the uh, mandarin orange, but that's about it. 
I really like the Immortelle in this one. And I want to say that Saffron is Saffron because it is definitely spicy. It is so freaking good. Now, this is not one that I would wear when it comes to like date night. I'm not going to lie, you guys. I'm, I don't feel like this is a date night fragrance for me because this is definitely more unique. To me, it's one of those fragrances that shows the art of fragrance. It's not one of those fragrances that's crowd pleasing or that, you know, I would put on just to go on a date night expecting my husband to be on my neck this is one that I would wear if there's a special event or if I'm you know accepting some type of award like I will wear this fragrance like let's say someone is getting the um what's that award called the peace award or whatever the one that Obama won this is what I would have imagined him wearing because it is definitely a standout fragrance. It's definitely unique. It is not for the faint of heart. When you get to the dry down, you do get more of those woody notes. Um, and then the spice does tone down a little bit. But I feel like the woody notes and the um, myrrh definitely gives off very much sophisticated and just different. On the skin, it does last long, okay? I did get a good eight hours with this and I had to scrub it off at the nighttime because I was just like, it's not getting off my skin. But as far as projection and sillage, it is definitely closer to the skin. It is not one of those fragrances that um, will perform really good when it comes to projection. But the sillage, you guys, if I pass by you, you will smell me. And then if I'm sitting there, you'll probably smell my bubble a little bit away from me because I my see I just lingering along but if you're in my face you might smell it very faintly and very lightly I don't have a problem with that but I've, I've heard that the original was beast mode and crazy with the sillage and I feel like because this is such a X straight they did not focus on projection because you're gonna smell it regardless when it, the person is passing by which I don't have a problem with because either the fragrance have a good sillage or it have a good projection now when you don't have none of those I don't need you in my collection and thank god this definitely have that heavy sillage which is perfect for me in my book but on the skin you definitely get a longer lasting fragrance and that's for the people that do not spray on their clothes as far as me I definitely spray on my clothes and I ended up spraying it on my clothes and it worked better the projection was better and the sillage was just I didn't think it could get any better than that this is definitely one of those fragrances that's for the books that's for the walls um when I say that I mean it is super unique it is one of those fragrances that I don't see a regular smegular person gonna wear and I'm a regular smuggler person outside of me loving fragrances but if you're a person that is new to fragrances or new to niche fragrances I would highly highly recommend to sample this before you buy it because you might be disappointed or you might be happy because it is extremely unique it's one of those that I encourage everyone to smell because it would definitely take you out of that comfort zone and let you know like hey is this something that you would like or if it's something that you will pass on for me, I like it a lot. I think that it has this underline of sexiness. I don't know what it is, but it's one of those fragrances that wants you, that makes you want to keep on smelling it. Like you ever um, tasted a piece of cake and you're like, mm, it's okay. But then you find yourself eating it and eating it and eating it. It's addictive. And this is one of those addictive fragrances. And I like the packaging. So I really, 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 really am curious about the original because if I like this a lot and I heard that the original is low-key still better it's a groundbreaking fragrance it's a staple it's an iconic fragrance then listen they must be doing something right I really like this fragrance I think that um it is for that person that is definitely trying to stand out um living off of the edge if you're looking for a cool girl fragrance this is what I would recommend I honestly feel like I would wear this when I'm wearing all black or I would wear this if I'm wearing something with leather, a boot, definitely giving cool girl vibes. I would never wear this if I'm wearing like a dainty pink dress and I'm trying to be very feminine or I'm going to be around my husband. Now, my husband is very much more advanced with the fragrances because he has no choice. That's all I do. You know, he smells them all the time. So he really don't have a choice. So his nose is very advanced. So I can see him liking this on me if I wear it but if you're looking for something that's standing out that's going to be unique and that's going to be crowd pleasing or at least pleasing to your husband I would definitely say check this one out by sampling it 
first don't blind buy the full bottle because it is not blind buy worthy but thankfully twistedlily.com allows you to sample before you buy so if you use my code cherries tv 10 at checkout you could definitely 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 girl check this one out and get you a sample okay you guys so that was my little review of this fragrance i hope you guys enjoyed this fragrance video if you guys would like to see more little reviews like this one go ahead and comment it down below um i can't promise it because I really love doing like my top 10s or my top 5s. But if there's a new fragrance release out there. And you guys really, really, really want me to review it. And I get enough comments to review that specific fragrance. I'll definitely do it for you guys. Alright you guys. So that was it for this video. Thank you so much. I also wanted to let, let you guys know that Twisted Lily is having a master class. If you're getting married, listen up. Because this is one of the biggest mistakes that the girls do on their wedding day. Seeking out your wedding day fragrance. Come on now y'all this is a special day and you need to know what you're gonna wear because that scent is gonna last forever twisted lily is hosting a virtual master class for the brides this master class is gonna help you pick out your perfect bridal scent to sign up for the master class twisted lily have this ooh -la, la kit on their website for you it comes with the cutest little gifts and this is basically your ticket in to the master class so you get this pretty invitation you get a whole bunch of samples that we're gonna be trying out during the master class you get this amazing mock Tell mimosa the juliet has a gun not a perfume hand cream beautiful scented candle this amazing little tote bag these amazing tester cards where it has the mood and everything you need to know for your perfect fragrance you can get 20 percent off of the kit using code cherries tv20 if you're a bride go ahead and sign up i'll be there will you all right you guys so definitely go ahead and go on my instagram and check that video out um i have the link for the bridal set if you're definitely interested i'll be there so definitely um join the master class too all right you guys if you found value in this video go ahead and hit it up with that like button so that way youtube knows that you like what's going on on here okay if you haven't seen my recent uploads i'll definitely put them for you in the description box below for you to check out don't forget to hit that subscribe button because it's totally free and you're gonna love it here until we see each other again please 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 stay safe and keep on smelling fragrances bye chair <laughs>